Hi friends, my name is Sitlali. Welcome to Lifehouse Kids Online. Thank you for joining us today. We have an amazing time planned for you. So please, get comfortable wherever you are and get ready for some fun. All this month, we will be learning that God is good and that we can be thankful for so many things. Every week, we will learn about more ways to be thankful. So let's get started. First, we will sing some worship songs to God because He is so amazing and we should tell Him that we love Him. Next, we'll do some building with blocks. Then, we will listen to a true story from the Bible about something special God made. Last, we will practice this month's memory verse. Friends, it's time to worship. We worship God when we sing and tell Him how much we love Him. And guess what? We can worship God because He is good. When I ask, who is good? You say, God is good. Who is good? God is good. Yes, He is. God made me and you, and He loves us. His love is special. Let's sing this together. I just want to thank God for the way He made me. Everywhere I look, I see how much He loves me. I'm so excited, I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it, and I just can't hide it, yes, I love him too, oh, 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 yes, I love him too, it's true, God's love is special. Do you like to play with blocks? Me too! I'm going to make a shape of a tree with some blocks. Feel free to get some of your own blocks to make a tree with me if you'd like. Let's get started! I just want to thank God for the way He made me. Every 
everywhere I look, I see how much he loves me. I'm so excited, I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it, and I just can't hide it. Yes, I love him too. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, I love him too. It's true, God's love is special. tree did you make one great job who made the trees outside that's right god made trees we'll hear all about the wonderful things god made in our bible story today here we go who who you know what time it is it's time to hear a story full of wonder there's so much fun friends, welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Lucy. I am so excited to see you today. It's still raining outside. Can you believe it? I had a really fun idea. Since it's still raining outside, why not play with water inside? Do you like to play with water? Me too. I made two boats. One made of foam and the other made of Foil. I want to see how many of these animals will fit onto each boat before it starts to sink. Do you want to help me? Let's try it. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, Wow, so many animals. Wow, that was so much fun. Did you guess which one would sink first? Great job. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? Playing with water, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. Since it's still raining outside, I decided to play with water inside. That does sound fun. It's true. I have a story about water and animals just for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Hola, friends! I'm Luis, the handyman. Good to see you today. <laughs> it just finished raining, so I'm drying off my table so we can build together. Are you ready to build a Bible story with me? Oh, <laughs> great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. There we go. Now, our true story from the Bible begins with... a guy named Noah. Noah loved God and always tried to do what God said. One day, God told Noah to build a really big boat called an ark. Noah got to work right away. Uh-oh. I think my boat pieces got mixed up. Hmm. I'll try to build it, and you tell me if it's right. Okay, ready? All right. One, two. Oh, there's a nice boat. Wait, that boat isn't big enough. 
Let's try it again. One, two, three. There, that's a bigger boat. Oh, wait, that's still not big enough. Okay, maybe this will be right. One, two, three, four. Oh, now that's a big, big boat. Woo, that's a huge boat. Way to go, Noah. <laughs> you built the ark just like God told you to. The ark needed to be that big because God had a big plan. God told Noah to put two of every animal on the ark. Hey, what's your favorite animal? Tell me on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, I love all those. Let me show you my favorite animal. What are these? <laughs> yes, penguins. I love penguins. <laughs> Oh, and there are all kinds of other animals, too. Ooh, here they come. <laughs> Hello, animals. Then Noah and his family got on the boat, and God shut the door. We might think that Noah was worried. He was getting in a boat with all the animals and didn't know what would happen next. But Noah knew he didn't have to worry because God's got it. And then it began to rain. Oh, can you help me make it rain? Okay, now you're gonna pat your legs like this. Okay, keep going. Okay, well, it rained and it rained and the whole earth flooded with water. But God kept Noah and his family and the animals safe. After it stopped raining, Noah wanted to see if it was okay to get out of the boat. So he sent a bird out to fly and see if it could find dry land. We might think that Noah was worried that the water would never go away. But Noah knew he didn't have to worry because God's got it. And look, the bird brought back a green leaf. <laughs> Yay! That meant that there was dry land where trees could grow. It was such a happy day when God said Noah and his family could get out of the ark. Noah thanked God for being with them the whole time and keeping everyone safe. Then, God did the most amazing thing. God put a rainbow in the sky to promise that he'd never flood the whole earth again. When we see a rainbow, we can remember that God keeps his promises. God is always with us, and God's got it. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. <laughs> That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story. It's all true. God told Noah just what to do, and he kept his promise to him, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, what an awesome story. God was with Noah the whole time, and God always keeps his promises. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Hey, it stopped raining outside after all of this time. I hope I can see a rainbow. I'm gonna go look right now. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Our Bible story today was about all the good things God made. God filled the world with all kinds of good things, like birds, food, flowers, and rainbows. It's like God put gifts for us to find all over the world. Everywhere we look, we can see that God is good. Who is good? God is good. 
and the new Bible verse we'll learn will help us remember to thank God for all the good things because God is good. The Bible verse says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Psalm 107.1 Let's all stand up and say that together with the motions. Just say what I say and do what I do. Are you ready? Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Psalm 107.1 Way to go! God is good and we should thank Him. Who is good? God is good! Great job, boys and girls! Will you talk to God with me now? Dear God, you are so good! You made a wonderful world for us to live in and filled it with so many good gifts for us to enjoy. We want to thank you for some of those good things. Thank you for the animals, rain, rainbows, and so many things you made. And I want to thank you for one thing. I pray we will thank you for your goodness every day. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for praying with me. I'm so glad we spent this time together learning about how God loves you and that He is good. Make sure to come back next week when we'll learn so many more amazing things about God. See you next time. Bye!